Hey guys, welcome back. Yesterday, Jesse went to Trader Joe's. He was just going for like a few staples and he came home with like a complete haul, you guys. He got swept up with the excitement that is Trader Joe's sometimes when you find like those new items. He found a lot of cool gluten-free items. So today I am just doing all of the gluten-free items from um, our Trader Joe's shopping trip. For those of you that don't know, the reason we shop gluten-free is because our six-year-old daughter, Raleigh, does have celiac disease. So she has to be completely gluten-free. So that's how all of this started. So for all of you out there that have celiac disease or perhaps you have a gluten intolerance or allergy, um, I hope you guys enjoy this and I hope this is helpful. I know that I really appreciate all of your comments over the last couple years because uh, they're really helpful when someone comments, you know, about an experience they're having. So I will let you know which items are completely gluten-free and which ones just don't have gluten ingredients and that if you have celiac disease, you might want to proceed with caution. Bag number one, there's four bags. So uh, the first two bags are dry goods. Okay, so we have Truly Tortilla Chips. They're white corn right there, very subtle, but it says gluten-free. Yeah, so corn tortilla chips are usually gluten-free, but you still have to double check just in case because of the seasonings or where they're manufactured. We've never tried these before, so we'll let you know. And then we've had these before. This is not a new item. These are the russet uh, kettle cooked potato chips, and they are gluten-free. All right, this one is a staple. This is one of the items Jesse was actually going for, and that's the jasmine rice. We love Trader Joe's jasmine rice. We eat it all the time, and of course, rice is naturally gluten-free. Love this rice, it's amazing. This is a new item, at least we've never seen it before. It's hibiscus flour, and it looks so good, you guys. I just wanna try it, I have to try it right now. Some of these items we've already started eating because we were hungry. Ooh, maybe I have tried these before. I'm having a memory. Maybe these aren't a new item, but they're beautiful and they're kind of squishy. Mmm, 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 mmm. Those are good. Oh my gosh. Dried and sweetened, they're really fresh. They're like a gummy candy. And because they're flowers, for some reason there's no guilt, but I feel like there's probably, let's see how much sugar there is. 10 pieces is 34 carbs, which isn't bad for 10 pieces. That's probably like half the bag. It's not bad. Mmm. Oh, good. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. All right, this is a new item. These are the spring gummies. And they are gluten-free. And it looks like they're kosher. Well, since I tried the last one, I guess I'll have to try these too. I'm not gonna try everything, obviously, but I'm curious. I kind of have a little bit of a sweet tooth going. So I have a pink butterfly. Oh, no. Yeah. If you like gummies, you're gonna like these, you guys. Now these are obviously way more sugary. Six pieces are 28 grams, so. These are twice as sugary and probably not as nutritious as the flowers, but really sweet and really yummy. They're not tart, they're just sweet. This one says it just contains milk. It doesn't say anything about wheat. I feel like this one here is a proceed with caution. This is the corn poblano chowder. Jesse really likes it. It's a little bit spicy, so it's not really my thing. It's a little too spicy for me. Again, if you have celiac, just because it has different spices and a lot of different ingredients, I just would proceed with caution with this one, but it is technically gluten-free. Uh, the next two are, are the same thing. They're gluten-free, but again, because of the problem of cross-contamination when you mix a lot of spices, I don't know where these products were manufactured. These are also proceed with caution. This is the pepita salsa. Um, pumpkin salsa, that sounds really cool. I mean, it sounds delicious, but let me know what you guys think. If you have celiac, would you even attempt eating this? There's no wheat disclaimer, but still, I don't know. Okay, so this one is the guajillo salsa, and it's a, like a smoky, spicy salsa. Um, Jesse loves smoky and he loves spicy, so there's gonna be a lot of that. 
And this again, it's, it doesn't have anything about wheat. It doesn't have anything about gluten. However, I would still proceed with caution because of all the different spices. Okay, one bag down, only three to go. Okay, so these do say gluten-free. They're chili and lime flavored rolled chips. And I'm gonna try one. He's gonna be like, you opened everything, but I feel like I had to. It was a gluten-free grocery haul day. Cause I'm curious, I don't think I've tried these, so I'm curious like how spicy, like I can handle spicy, but I'm not like, ooh, I need it to be as hot as possible, you know? I love the kick of lime. The first bite is fine. <laughs> I feel like after a handful, a bowlful, it's gonna have that like lasting sting, you know? They're not horrible, but it's just not for me. It's not my preference. They're not too spicy though. It's going away, a little sip of water, but I like the lime. The lime really nicely offsets the spice. So those are good if you like spicy snacks. That's a really good one and it's gluten free. Okay, you guys, I'm super into ginger. I love ginger spice. And these I had never tried before. I don't think it's a new item. It's just the uncrystallized candy ginger pieces. I'm kind of curious to try the crystallized one. Like, are they softer or chewier? Cause these are like only slightly candy. So like they're these chunks and it's, it really just tastes like you're eating ginger. It's not like chewy, like a gummy candy, you know? It kind of just, it's like ginger. Really strong, a lot of ginger spice, but I love ginger. So that's a really good. I don't know if you guys noticed too, we got new stools. I'm so excited, look at this. Aren't they so groovy? We found them at a shop here in Palm Springs. Oh my gosh, I'm noticing I didn't plug in my microphone. I hope this sounds okay. It's, you guys, we're on spring break. Thank you for being patient with me. Anyways, so just wanna share that with you. Yay, new furniture. This is something I get all the time. This is a Trader Joe's staple. It is a toasted coconut and granola cereal. It is gluten-free. It does contain almonds and coconuts, but it's super yummy. I'll eat it over like Honey Nut Cheerios or Golden Checks because those are of course gluten-free cereals and it makes it a little more nutritious, a little more filling. And I just love this granola, you guys. Okay, so this is the roasted garlic marinara sauce. This is another staple. It does contain soy, but as far as we know, it's gluten-free and I use it for the kids. I make them like a gluten-free pizza, the mozzarella cheese, and like some pepperoni that's gluten-free and it's super yummy. These are Raleigh's favorites. She loves the Trader Joe's gluten-free mac and cheese and they're like the most affordable too. I feel like they're just like a dollar or two a box. So Jessie got four of these. It's great for a kid with celiac. She's a super picky eater, so got a lot of those. And then um, we always get some gluten-free bread from Trader Joe's. They used to have gluten-free cinnamon raisin bread, you guys, and they don't carry it anymore. So I'm super bummed about that. Do you guys have cinnamon raisin bread at your Trader Joe's? We don't have it anymore here in Palm Springs at our Trader Joe's. So I hope they get it back. But in the meantime, at least they have this like loaf of just white sandwich bread and the kids will eat it toasted. Sometimes they'll eat sandwiches. They're pretty picky, so it's, you know, I do what I can, but it's great that they have this. So this is just your crushed red pepper. It should be gluten-free because it's like the only ingredient is crushed red pepper. So if the spice is just one ingredient, you should be good. If it's a mix of spices, I would stay away from it if you have celiac disease. This one is just like we put in our soups or you know, just on our vegetables, whatever, just to give it a little extra kick of spice. So we were out, so we got the red peppers. And their spices are pretty reasonably priced at Trader Joe's. This was really exciting, you guys. This is a new baked item that Jesse found and um, the kids actually split one today because they're really big. And they're, um, I wanna say they're, let's see, 40, yeah, 47 carbs per muffin. So they're pretty big muffins. Uh, Raleigh has type 1 diabetes too, so we have to keep track of her carb counts. If you're wondering why I keep talking about carbs, kind of have to factor that in too. Um, but these are chocolate, chocolate chip, double chocolate muffins. So they're, they have chocolate chips, buttermilk, sour cream, and cocoa. I haven't tried them yet, but Raleigh loved it. And um, they're completely gluten-free. As far as we know, these are a new gluten-free baked item. And they had like a cinnamon, uh, like coffee cake 
flavored muffins. So Raleigh picked these, because they're kind of pricey, we just said pick one, and she picked the chocolate ones, but we'll have to try the cinnamon ones too. If you guys have tried the new cinnamon, the gluten-free cinnamon coffee cake muffins, you have to let me know if they're any good, but here they are. This is kind of random, but I got the cayenne pepper, and just a sec, I have to get another thing to talk about it. I had Jesse get an onion and some cayenne pepper because uh, for those of you that know me and watch all my videos, I got a boysenberry plant for my mom at the boysenberry festival at Knott's Berry Farm. And you guys, there's bugs on it. So what I wanna do is I wanna spray it with like homemade pesticides. So I found this recipe online and it's like you grind up garlic and onion and you put dish soap and cayenne pepper and you mix it all up and you put it in a spray bottle and you spray your plants with it so it's safe for fruits and vegetables um, but it should get rid of the bugs because I have to keep this plant alive until the end of May when I see my mom for her birthday. So anyways, these items are kind of random. I mean, you can use an onion for cooking and cayenne pepper for cooking but those I specifically got to make like a homemade pesticide to save my mom's boysenberry plant. So that's an update on her boysenberry plant for everyone that knows about boysenberries. All right, so produce, you guys. We got some Campari tomatoes, which we really like because they have a lot of flavor. That's one of our favorite tomatoes from Trader Joe's. So Jesse got a box of those. He got this beautiful purple artichoke. Look at this artichoke. He's like, you're in charge. Like you could like use it as a wedding bouquet. It's so beautiful. Jesse's like, you're in charge of cooking the artichoke. Um, I basically just boil, I steam them in, in a pot. I feel like that's the way you do artichokes. And then sometimes I'll let him finish them on the grill because he loves to grill. Um, but anyways, this artichoke is so beautiful and yeah, we'll probably have it with dinner tonight. All right, so these are proceed with caution. They don't have any gluten ingredients. But just if you have celiac, I would proceed with caution. I like to eat my pasta with like a sauce or something on it. So one sauce that both Jesse and I really, really like is pesto. So he got this one. He also got this one, which we've never tried before. It's really exciting. It's a vegan kale, cashew, and basil pesto. It looks delicious. There are a lot of seasonings and ingredients. So again, I would proceed with caution on this one. It doesn't say gluten-free but there's also no gluten ingredients, so you guys can let me know what you think. And then this here, we love this hummus. It's the smooth and creamy cilantro and jalapeno. It's not too spicy and it's super yummy. This stuff disappears whenever Jesse gets it. And um, again, it, oh, it does say gluten-free. So this one is gluten-free, you guys. This should be safe for you to eat. And this is really good. I love this one. And we like, um, this isn't Trader Joe's, but we like just those almond crackers. Um, you know, you can get them at Ralph's or whatever, and it's really good with hummus. So that's that's our go-to gluten-free snack. And then cheddar cheese, staple, naturally gluten-free. And then this is the only salami our son Declan will eat. This is the reduced sodium Italian dry salami by Columbus, and it is gluten-free, which I didn't realize this until more recently because of one of you commenting, so thank you so much. Um, even meats have gluten, depending on the seasonings or where they're manufactured, so always even double check your bacon and your sliced deli meats. You have to check for gluten, you guys. So these are gluten-free, so awesome. Love that. This was really cool. Now this is for 21 and over. This is a greenhouse hard seltzer, cucumber, basil, and it's a wine-based um, drink. And it looks so yummy on a hot day by the pool. It's really starting to get hot here in Palm Springs. We're, you know, hanging out by the pool. And this just looks like a cool, crisp, refreshing pool drink. So I'm excited to try this one. And then this was really neat. This was a produce item that um, Jesse overheard a couple of the Trader Joe's employees talking about. And it says it's, it's at Atta, Atufu, Altufo, Altalfu Mango. It's a product of Mexico. I'm not pronouncing it right, I'm sure. 
but um, they, they, they don't look like they have a lot of meat on them, but I'm really curious to see if these mangoes, which I've never tried this variety before, so I'm really excited to try these and see if they taste different from just your standard um, you know, mango that you find at the grocery store. All right, so that's all the produce and refrigerated items that were gluten-free. All right, I'm gonna go get all the freezer stuff and then we're done. Thanks for joining me, you guys. All right, last bag is cold. Oh, it actually feels good. Okay, so the first item is a proceed with caution because it doesn't have any wheat disclaimer, but there's a lot of ingredients in this. It's vegan, contains soy, um, but there are a lot of spices. So I just, again, would proceed with caution. Um, it's the kimchi and tofu soup. Uh, so we just love trying new things. We'll see, um, you know, if it's hit or miss, it'd be fun to have another just easy dish in the rotation for me and Jesse. And then the next two are super simple. It's just your basic um, super sweet cut white corn just for like a side dish. And then uh, we love Trader Joe's petite peas. These are our favorite gluten-free chicken nuggets for like just heating them up super easy. Um, they're chicken breast, white meat, uh, gluten-free chicken nuggets. Now the kids for some reason still only like the gluten-free dino chicken nuggets. That's like the only thing they'll eat, but Justin and I think these taste so much better. So anyways, uh, these are really yummy if you're gluten-free. And then uh, this is just like something we always have in the freezer. Oops, I have it upside down. And it's just the gluten-free toaster waffles. I'm so glad Trader Joe's has these because they're a lifesaver. And so Justin got a couple boxes. I'm gonna run out of space here. We're almost done. The last two items is ice cream. So um, this mint chip ice cream looks, it says super premium. It looks super good. And it does not, it says it contains milk, eggs, soy, and coconut, but it does not have a wheat disclaimer. So hopefully that's all good for Raleigh. And then uh, this is one we've been getting for years. We love it so much. It's the Coffee Bean Blast. It's also their super premium ice cream. I never noticed that before where it says like super premium. Um, and this one, let's see what it says. It says contains milk and eggs, but there's no contains wheat. So I think you should be good to go. And that's it, you guys. This was a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you later in Super Cali Land. Bye.